what's up guys? In today's blog post that you could read down below, I speak about the five ways that strength training, training with barbells, dumbbells, and weights, saved my life. Now many of you guys know that I've been training since I was 14 years old. I'm 36 now, so that's well over two decades of training, being under the bar, challenging myself with heavier weights, building muscle, playing sports, all the things related to growing stronger physically, I began doing when I was 14 years old, when my uncle became a personal trainer and started training my brothers and I in my parents' basement. 14 years old is a critical time. In fact, that's like, you know, your first, you're tipping your toe into the water of adulthood or adolescence because, you know, you're not so much a kid anymore but you're also not so much an adult. And I think it's a perfect opportunity to give initiation and a sense of hope and a sense of destiny to young people by offering them something that they can immerse all of their, uh, their vital resources and sexual energy that's coming up at that particular time in life. Because otherwise, I know for myself when I was 14 years old, had I not found the sport of football, but in particular, the activity of weight training to support my ability to get stronger for football, I would have ventured down a path that I was already started on, which included being arrested, getting into fights, stealing, doing drugs, and a lot of shit that 14-year-old boys who don't have an outlet or somewhere to focus their, the, the aggressive energy that's coming up in their bodies would have ultimately ended up being. You know, lots of gangs and, uh, and, and drug dealing and, you know, all these ways of unresourceful being that tend to come up for young men around the ages of 14, 16, 17 were avoided in me, averted, because I was able to take my energy and focus it towards weight training by the blessing of my uncle and my parents for buying me a barbell when I was 14 years old. So today I'm going to talk about five different ways that strength training has supported me. The very first one was to keep me out of trouble. I mentioned that just now. I had a lot of energy, and it was great to focus it on something productive rather than uh, beating up more people and getting into, into fights and stealing and things. Uh, the next one is my experience of sowing and reaping. Now, you understand that's a principle. I think Brian Tracy once called it the law of the farm, meaning if you don't put in the seed, you don't put in the time, you don't put in the effort, you don't put in the patience, you have no yields. There's no gains. And for the first time in my life did I experience the act of putting forth of energy, concentration, and hard work in order to have something on the other end, to be fruitive, for my works to be fruitive. I was never a very good student, so studying for a test didn't really help me that much. But lifting barbells all of a sudden gave me the result that came from hard work. It was the first time I was able to, to put the two together, right? Hard work equals results. Focus, concentration, smart work equals results. That's number two. Number three, strength training gave me the sword by which I carved out my life. I was able to get an athletic scholarship playing football because I was so much bigger, stronger, and faster than many of the other athletes my size and in my position playing the sport, sport of football. Um, and I also experienced what it was like to be coached and I knew immediately that that's what I wanted to do. When my uncle coached me, when my football coaches coached me, when my strength coaches coached me, when my mentors in the profession of fitness and, and strength training coached me, I was able to absorb all of their professional skills and find a, bro, a profession for myself, a vocation for myself. So all of my coaching at the gym, strength camp, videos, blogs, anything related to being able to put food on my table came as a result of being shown and handed a barbell when I was 14 years old. Number four, I was a better student because I really didn't care too much about tracking and testing and reading and journaling and things of that nature until I started tracking, testing, studying, and journaling my results in the gym. Never before did I take up such academic work 
until I started training with the barbell. And this is my very first training journal. You can see here where it says 1994, 1995, even 96. And I began keeping notes of my workouts. I began keeping records of my the weights lifted. I began tracking my body weight. I began planning for the future. That's a really important one, you know. So for example, this is a six to, to twelve week program. Never before did I think twelve weeks ahead when I'm 14 years old, you're not thinking what's happening three months from now, but when I was handed a barbell, I began thinking, hmm, three months, six months, a year from now, where might I be, who might I become if I put in the effort, the time, and the concentration to build my body methodically through weight training. So there was so much more than just my physical growth, it was also my intellectual mental growth. And then finally, my heart's growth, my soul. Weight training opened my mind and opened my heart to the fact and my personal experience that what I do, who I become, the activities I engage in and how they impact the lives of others. I began to realize that the stronger I had become, not just physically but as I shared mentally, the better prepared I was to deal with the challenges of the world and specifically dealings in relationships. When you subject yourself to an activity that requires struggle, when you face challenges, and that's what weight training does to you, you experience all that is required for personal growth and you also begin to have some compassion for yourself, realizing that, you know, being hard on yourself is no good, um, being down on yourself is no good, realizing your weaknesses. This is one of the things that strength training did, did for me. It showed me where I was weak, where I was lacking, where I could be better. And in pursuing that growth personally, in recognizing those sore spots and weak spots and shadows personally through my experience with strength training, I was better able to, and as I am a coach today, I'm still better able to, spot the inherent weaknesses, ignorances, lacks, and shadows in my customers, clients, fans, and friends. You can only have compassion if you've had compassion with yourself first. Do you understand? Compassion is recognizing the sore spot on our own hearts, respecting it, dealing with it, and then using that experience to approach other people from a place of knowing what they're going through, knowing how to get through the challenges, and supporting them on becoming a stronger version of themselves. Done.